हरे कृष्णा वेलकम टू कृष्णा फ्यूजिन विद मोस्ट पॉपुलर रेसिपी ईटिंग प्रसाद इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट सर्विस दैट इज वाई वी डोंट कॉल इट जस्ट ईटिंग बट ऑनरिंग प्रसाद शिल प्रभुपादा पेड स्पेशल अटेंशन टू दिस वाइल प्रीचिंग ही स्पेशली कुकड एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड प्रसाद ऑन संडेज ही अरेन्ज लव फिस्ट एंड अबाउट गुलाब जामुन there is no comparison of it with anything else who doesn't like it every one of us after all they are called iskon bullets these are the tasty bullets to fight against maya once shila prabhupada popped a jamun in his mouth and said we are eating our way back to godhead now we know that gulab jamun are not just sweets but emotion So let's prepare this wonderful sweet with this no fail recipe. I will be sharing all the tips and tricks to get perfect authentic way syrupy jamuns and without any cracks. So let's proceed. So first, let's prepare the sugar syrup. First take 2 and 1/2 cup of sugar in a pan around 500 g and 2 and 1/2 cup of water. mix it and let the sugar dissolve on low flame only stir it in between or else it will stick to the bottom of the pan after 3 minutes the sugar has dissolved now cook the syrup on low flame for around 6 to 7 minutes and in this syrup no need of any strings just we need a sticky syrup it has been total 7 to 8 minutes and the syrup is sticky enough add half teaspoon of cardamom powder and 7 to 8 saffron strands this is optional but it will give a wonderful taste to our jamun turn off the flame now syrup is ready cover the lid and keep it aside next let's prepare the jamun for jamun take 200 g of khowa or mawa make sure room temperature khowa now grate it This is done. Now add 50 grams of milk powder. Thirty gram of all-purpose flour or maida. Thirty grams of fine suji or rava. Make sure to take fine suji only, and add pinch of baking soda. do not add more combine all this well we have shared many shilo prabhupada's recipes and you can find all in shilo prabhupada's recipes playlist which link has been shared in the description box below Next add 2 tablespoon of milk and knead a medium soft dough. Do not add at once, add part by part. So total here I have used 3 tablespoon of milk and our dough is ready. Now make small balls from the dough. do not make big balls small ones only like this make sure to make all the balls without any cracks and while making the balls if you feel the dough is drying then you can add some teaspoon of milk to avoid cracks 
after making each ball cover them with wet cloth so all the balls are ready let's fry them heat some ghee in a pan around 300 g let it melt do not heat too much keep the flame low only the ghee shouldn't be hot at all you can see while putting them in ghee they are not coming up immediately so this is the perfect temperature after adding do not touch them immediately you can just move the kadai gently or just stir the ghee without touching the jamun initially fry them until they turn golden brown in color stir them gently so they can fry from all the sides After 5 to 6 minutes the jamun have fried so well take them out immediately add them into the sugar syrup if the sugar syrup has cooled then heat it a little bit make sure that before frying the next batch the ghee must again be warm just like before Do not forget to cover it. I have fried all the jamuns. Now soak them for five to six hours or overnight. It has been six hours. The jamun has soaked so well. Our iskon bullets are ready. you can see there is not even a single crack on the jamun and it is so smooth let's place a tulsi leaf and offer it to lord jagannath shila prabhupada says these are the tasty bullets to fight against maya we have offered the jamun now let me show you how soft and juicy they are you can store them for 3 days on room temperature if you like bhoga offering recipes please like share subscribe and click on the bell icon below so you do not miss any bhoga offering recipe always chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram ram ram, ram hare hare and be happy